Hi, welcome to a new tutorial on GCE A levels, advanced level combined mathematics. Today we are going to look at algebra, and uh, let me just go check if my mic's working. Yes, it's working. Uh, hi, welcome to a new tutorial on GCE A levels, combined mathematics. Today we are going to look at algebra. Now for the first question that we're going to look at is this one. The example question that the Ministry of Education has published on their website. I'll post the link below. You can download the whole paper. Uh, if the roots of ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0 are alpha and beta, show that the roots of the equation acx squared minus x open brackets b squared minus 2 ac close brackets plus ac equals 0 are alpha over beta and beta over alpha now to do this question you are going to need a few lessons and if you don't have these lessons mastered uh, you'll be having a bit of trouble to follow through now if you don't know a single lesson yeah uh, even a single lesson of uh, which I'm gonna show you you should comment on the comment section below and let me know I'll do a tutorial and post it so that it's uh, helpful for you now assuming that you know these four lessons let's go ahead with it so now if you consider ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, you know that finding the roots of a quadratic equation, you get two answers for x, which means x could be equal to one answer or x could be equal to the other. So they've said that the roots of x, uh, this equation, is r alpha and beta. So we can say that x is either equal to alpha or x is equal to beta. Now we also know through the quadratic formula that x is equal to minus b plus or minus root b squared minus 4ac over 2a which means that in this quadratic formula you can see that x already has two different answers where you use the plus before uh, the, uh, well, uh, the, the plus expression and you use the minus expression or when you just use the plus expression that's one answer and when you use a minus expression that's another so what we can say is x is equal to minus b plus root b squared minus 4 ac over 2a or x is equal to minus b minus root b square minus 4 ac over 2a which means since we previously defined that alpha x is equal to alpha or x is equal to beta we can say that alpha is equal to minus b plus root b squared minus 4 ac over 2a and beta is equal to minus b minus root beta squared sorry b squared minus 4 ac over 2a great now that we've de defined alpha and beta we go to the next step which is extremely important uh, most a level um, uh, most a level questions are going to need you to use this step so uh, this is something that you really really need to uh, get um, used to and wha what it is is you need to be able to find the product the product and the sum of alpha and beta and sometimes some in some uh, some sums you'll be even you'll even need to find the difference of alpha and beta so today we're just gonna use the product and the sum of alpha beta for this sum so let's start off with alpha beta which is the product of the two roots so uh, we use alpha beta and we substr uh, substitute the two expressions that we received in uh, received previously so now if you look at the 
two numerators of these two expressions you will notice that this is a plus and this is a minus now you will uh, if you remember this is a difference of two squares which means we can express this uh, these two numerators as a difference of two squares like this where the denominator multiplies and becomes 2a squared now this is where you need that lesson I told you pref uh, previously so we solve this and uh, the minus mark disappears and the square root sign disappears and we receive this expression and further simplifying it removing the brackets uh, we receive this b squared cancels off and we get 4ac over 4a squared and 1a cancels off and the 4 cancels off now we get alpha beta is equal to c over a great now we need to find the product of alpha and beta which is alpha plus beta we go through the same steps we can take alpha beta alpha plus beta and we substitute the two expressions that we received before now if you can see the denominators are equal so we don't need to find a common denominator uh, we write the expression like this and you will notice that we can cancel out these two expressions because of the plus and the minus over here we cancel them out and we receive minus 2b over 2a the two twos cancel out and we get alpha plus beta is equal to minus b over a great now we know that alpha beta is equal to c over a and alpha plus beta is equal to minus b over a now if you remember uh, uh, the roots of two quad uh, the roots of a quadratic equation you'll remember that uh, like I told you before that x gets two different answers so now if we go to the second uh, to the question they've asked they've asked us to find show that this huge equation over here have these two roots now if we can find if we can use these two roots and develop an equation develop a new equation and that equation becomes this one that means this question has been answered and that's exactly what we are going to do we are going to use the two uh, the two roots and we are going to develop an equation so we're going to say if alpha over beta and beta over alpha are the roots of a quadratic equation we can say that x is either equal to alpha over beta or x is equal to beta over alpha from which we get x minus alpha over beta equals 0 or x minus beta over alpha is equal to 0 now if we take these two expressions and multiply it they have to be equal to 0 so we can say that x minus alpha over beta into x minus beta over alpha is equal to 0 now we solve this like any uh, two algebraic expressions x into x x into uh, minus beta over alpha then minus alpha over beta into x and minus alpha over beta into minus beta over alpha and we get this expression here now uh, you'll notice that in the last expression over here we can simplify it further the two betas cancel off the two alphas cancel off and we get this expression uh, for the middle uh, the expression over here what we've done is we've uh, got a common denominator and we've got this expression 
now over here we are going to do something called the completion of a square uh, which is one of those lessons that I told you you need before attempting this question so when we do the completion of square we get this expression and the numerator has not changed now you might think that the numerator has changed if you don't know the lesson you would understand this and you might think that the numerator has changed no it hasn't changed we haven't done anything this is the same numerator but we've just expressed it in a different way now uh, we got the whole uh, equation uh, in expressions that we no, because we know what alpha plus beta is and we know what alpha beta is. All we need to do is substitute alpha beta and alpha plus beta. So when we substitute these expressions that we know the values for, we get this. Where alpha plus beta has been substituted by b minus, uh, sorry, minus, minus b over a and alpha beta has been uh, substituted by c over a now we solve this like any other algebraic expression so we get this expression and you can and the numerator we what we do is we use uh, uh, find the common denominator for in these uh, for these two expressions we find the common denominator which will be a squared and we get this and this is cancel off we get this expression now for this what we do is we in order to eliminate this little guy over here we multiply this whole expression sorry about that let me just we multiply this whole thing by a c now if we multiply the left side we have to multiply the right side now this ends up becoming zero and when we multiply this we solve this equation we get our answer now if you didn't understand a part of this it's probably because you don't didn't know um, one of those lessons that I pointed out and if you need me to do a tutorial on uh, those just let me know uh, comment on the comment section below and like this video if you liked what you saw and I'll be posting more tutorials and help you out with combined mathematics so for the next video I'll be taking care of this question which is a bit more complex than what we did and let me see you in a week Ooh.